Alright, so in the previous video, we have learned how to add multiple documents to our Firestore database. Today, we're going to learn how to fetch documents in server components and also in client components. So, let's just first go to the paste.jsx file for the home page. We'll send the app, then paste.js. So, this is actually a server component. So, first, we need to create a collection reference from where we want to fetch all the data. So const collection ref will be collection. And then we need to pass that db variable and then the collection name, which is post. Now we need to use the get docs function and we need to pass the collection ref. And again, this is an asynchronous function. So we need to await this, await. And this function will actually return you a snapshot. So we need to store that. So const post collection snapshot. And let's console log that. So let's go to the home page. And on the terminal, you see this big object. This is actually the snapshot. But where is the actual data? Well, to get the data, we need to use the data method. So we need to loop over the docs from the snapshot. So post collection snapshot dot docs dot map. So let's get the doc and we need to return an object. We need to use the data method from the doc function, which will return us the object. And I will spread that here. And we also want the ID. So ID will be doc dot ID. And let's store that in a variable. And now I can console log the post list. Now I have all the post as an array, as you can see from here. Now I have this post list component, which is also a server component that will just render the post content. Nothing fancy here. So I can just pass the post list. And we have an error, cannot read properties of undefined. Okay, so I've got the problem. So on some posts, the created ad is undefined because I forgot to add the created ad property on the video where I have shown you how to add a single document. So I will remove the post behind the scenes. Okay, so I have deleted those posts, but you can also add an optional chain over here to avoid those errors. Okay, so now we don't have any problem and the posts are rendered on the screen. So that's how you get documents from Firestore database in server components. But there is a problem. And the problem is that server components are cached by default. So once the page is built, the page won't change until you revalidate the page, even if the data is changed. For example, now if I delete this post, the power of positive thinking, then I would still see the post in the page because the page will be cached. Now you wouldn't notice this on local environment, but you will see that on production. So for example, I can change the post, the power of positive thinking in the console. So this is that uh, document. I can change the title and add my name at the end. And if I just refresh the page, you see the change directly. But if I just build the application, but first I need to close the server and now run npm run build. It will be low code. Okay, so all the pages are now built. Now we can run our build code with npm start. If I refresh, you can see the power of positive thinking and then my name. But if I change the title again, I will just remove my name from the title. And now if I refresh the page, you still see that the title hasn't changed. This is because the page is cached, the component is cached. Now there are a few different ways you can um, revalidate it. You can you can do auto revalidation after a certain amount of time, but we always want to see the latest data on our page. So 
we don't need to use the cache. However, caching can be really useful if your data doesn't change much. To fix that, we can use a dynamic variable. Basically, we just need to export the dynamic variable. So export const dynamic and the value would be force dynamic. So this is just for avoiding the cache. Now if I build with npm run build and now if I run the server refresh and now change again the title now if I refresh the page now you see the latest data so this is how you can avoid the caching but don't think caching is bad caching can be really good so it depends whether you want to cache it or not based on your need so I will run the depth server again so this is how you can get data from server component let me also show you how you can do that from the client component it's pretty simple actually I'm just gonna paste the code here but first let me just comment this code out and we also need to use the use client so basically we have created a state and then we have created an async if you function inside the use effect and just use the same logic to get the data and set the post so if I refresh the page it should still work so as you can see it's still working I'm gonna keep this as it is for the next video but I would prefer having a server component instead of a client component now let me show you how you can fetch a single document so I will visit a post page. I will go to this post page. It says post not found because, because we haven't fetched the post data. For that we need to go to the post and then slash id and then paste our JSX. This file is actually dynamic because the id of the post will change based on the post. So this is a dynamic route. So I have set the post variable to null. So let's see how we can fetch a single document. Again, we need a reference to the doc that we want to fetch. We need to use the doc function again, then the db variable, and the collection name is posts. And then we need to pass the document ID, which will actually create the path for us. And this ID is actually the path parameter on the URL that you see. This is our document ID. Now let's call the get doc function and pass that doc ref. It will return us a document snapshot. So const doc snap and await. Now this doc snap has an exist method which will tell you that if the document actually exists or not. So I can console log. Not the data itself. I can call the exist function. And uh, we have an error, expected first argument to collection. Okay, so we have a wrong import of the db variable. It should come from config. Now we shouldn't have any error. And true is printed out because we have a document. So I can add an if statement here. If document exists, then I can reassign the post variable. So id will come from the doc snapshot. And the actual data will come from the data method. I can remove the console log and make this select instead of const. We have an error because of this uh, form component. I can comment this out for now. And now you can see the post is rendered on our screen. But before I end, let me just show you the post object. So the post has the user property, which is referring to another document, the user document. Let's see how we can also face the user data. That's also pretty simple. So const user ref, which is actually doc snap dot user. And then we can get the user snapshot using the get doc method and assign the user variable to the post. So post dot user will be user snap dot data. Um, sorry, this shouldn't be docsnap, it should be post.user. 
And now on the terminal, you can see the post user data. So this is how you can fetch a single document data from Firestore database, both in server component and client components. And I hope this video was helpful for you. In the next video, we will learn how to get real-time updates. Until then, stay safe. Goodbye. Oh, <music>